In this video, I'm going for a drive in the Honda in the snow. I think I better clear it off a bit first. All right, here we go. Uh, you, you might be thinking, what's the challenge? There's a tiny bit of snow, but this is the UK, and when it is even a tiny amount of snow, everything comes grinding to a halt. So the plan today, I need to go to Lexus in Wolverhampton and collect my um, tensioner for the auxiliary belt so I can get the Lexus working again. And then I'm off to Canuck to play a stupid auction game tomorrow. Um, you, know, you know they say, um, unless your trip is urgent, don't bother. Well, this isn't urgent in the slightest and I'm bothering. So what the hell, here goes. <laughs> um, I should point out the uh, Honda is on Nokian weatherproof tires. Uh, which are all season tyres, uh, they are rated for winter use and um, it has to be said, I've had them on the car a year now and I've been really happy with them um, I think they offer very good grip in all conditions I haven't done too much testing in the snow because ironically there hasn't been very much since I've hitted the tyres but that's sort of law for you wear rate, I've done over 10,000 miles on them and uh, still got really good tread depth. They're about 10 miles in and um, this very little bit of slush is enough to get our average speed down to 30 miles an hour because people don't go any quicker. Maybe if they fitted the right sort of tyres for this time of year they would feel a bit more confident. That's not to say that winter tyres are a complete protector against failure but oh come on folks I was doing quite well until I caught this lot up. And there we go, a little bit of slush on the road and uh, the road to Shrewsbury is closed. Uh, so now we need to find an alternative route. Why is this country so absolutely hopeless? Oh, now it's really hammering down. Oh, I can see the front in the car, car in front, sorry, uh, struggling for traction. My Nokian weatherproof tyres, which I paid for, this isn't a free plug. Um, yeah, they're uh, alright. Time has definitely come for great caution. Well, I've made it to Shrewsbury, and look at my reward! Oh, why is this country so rubbish? Ah! Well, um, oh, look at that wiper action. Bova Futura behind me. Crawling around Shrewsbury because my ways, um, navigation app decided it would be a good idea to come off the A5. I don't agree. I think this has been just as bad really. Um, yeah, I, I'm discovering the limitations of these winter tyres. Um, obviously they're no cure-all and uh, especially on the untreated roads where the crushed down um, slush is formed an ice barrier I mean it's quite easy to break traction I'm, I'm trying to drive in second so it'll pull away in second um, hopefully reduce wheel spin but no, that was all right that was grit that's all right but yeah there's been a few understeery moments so yeah everyone's driving very carefully and very slowly Oh, 
well, we've made it out of Shrewsbury. Uh, now motoring along the A5, shortly to become the M54. Um, not really sure I'm brave enough to try and go anywhere near the speed limit. I think that would be foolish. So I'll stick at 60. Everyone seems to be sticking at 60. I've got no one catching me up. I've got no one getting away from me. So between us all, we've decided 60 miles an hour is sensible. This is quite exciting, to be honest, although probably not very exciting if you're driving an ambulance. Uh, I should imagine driving an ambulance today is no fun at all. Well done to all the emergency crews who must be having one heck of a day. I mean, there's cars getting stuck all over the place. I've seen several accidents. I've seen roads closed. I've seen people having to push cars up the slightest slopes because they just can't do it. It's because people in this country just will not fit the correct tyres. After a traumatic journey, thanks to the snow, uh, some of which is still on the car, we have made it to Wolverhampton and uh, the Lexus dealer. I've just collected the tensioner, which you'll be able to see about in another video, for the Lexus. So hopefully I can get the Lexus back on the road. Uh, for now, I'm going to go and find my um, Premier Inn where I'm staying for the night. I'm going to have a hot shower, a cup of tea, and do very, very little. Well, we're on to day two. I've got a truck behind me making an almighty racket. I've just cleared the Honda uh, with all the snow that fell overnight here in Cannock. And um, that's because if you don't do that, then you end up dropping snow bombs on people who are following along behind you. And frankly, that can get really, really irritating. Yeah. Right, time to go and find some breakfast at the Trucker's Rest. And here we are at a snowy canuck, uh, ready to play the auction game. Uh, this is where we are given a list of requirements. We have to buy usually six or seven cars, buy. Um, you, you note them down and the winner is the person who spends the least on their collection of vehicles. And it's a fine collection of vehicles. There's the commercials. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, if you like MG ZTs, your luck's in. There's two of them. This could be a, a very interesting day. Well, we're not playing the game because someone forgot the sheets. So instead, we're probably going to buy a car. Um, we, we just don't know what we're going to buy yet. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be the MG ZT. But I think it might be a Peugeot 406. But the sale is about to begin, so let's go. Here we go. We, we, we want this one, we want this one. We're trying to keep quiet. We've just won that for £140. Winning. It seems we didn't win the lovely Peugeot. Someone else got that for £140. That means we're going to have to work on plan B. Mmm, clag. <laughs> you get a bonus extra on this video because we've had quite a lot of snow overnight. I'm just clearing a bit of it off the car. I'm not going to go out for a drive on the roads, but I am interested to see if it'll drive on this fresh snow here. Uh, there's the snowy Invercar and um, yeah getting it cleared out. Just to see how good these Nokian weatherproof tyres are. I've got to know. Right this so isn't worth it at all but put it in second Away she goes. That's quite remarkable. I think that shows you the power of winter tires because summer tires would not do this.
Oh, sod it. I'm going for a drive. You'd be disappointed if I didn't, wouldn't you? At least that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Second gear, there we go. That is the problem, the plough's been through. It's not going to go with that. Let's, let's try it. Problem is, I'm grounding out because my car sits too low. No, not going to happen. So there we go, I'm not actually going to go for a long drive today because it's um, probably best not to really. I, I can't see any traffic on the road, everyone's just staying at home probably quite rightly. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave comments beneath and uh, I shall see you in a future video. Farewell. Now where's that cup of tea?